What's up guys, this is Derek, I'm the Romantic Era Arts histor Historian, and uh, Romanticism was a movement towards intellectual and artistic freedom. The Romantic movement was founded because of the prior Age of Enlightenment and Rationalism, which focused on science and the incorporation of science into everything. Romanticism took a 180 from its predecessor and focused more on individualism and the natural world. Neoclassicism is the revival of a classic style or treatment of the arts. The picture shown here is a picture of a romantic piece of art that shows the classical style of art brought back into focus in this era. Williams, William Wordsworth was a significant English poet during the Romantic era and part of the neoclassic movement. His first publication was Lyrical Ballads, made in conjunction with Samuel Taylor Coleridge who was a fellow poet and a good friend of Wordsworth, whom he met in Somerset. Wordsworth also stated that he believed that poetry results from the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. After Wordsworth came the rise of satire in art and poetry. One of the major targets of this satire was the political institution currently in power. William Gifford was well known as a satirist at this time, Gifford's most known work was Baviad, which surpassed all of the other satirists at the time and caused him to be one of the best satirists of this era. Gifford was also regarded to have very partisan beliefs, beliefs as a critic and attack his target in very one-sided and bitter attacks. Another satirist is at this time was uh, George Gordon Byron more commonly referred to as Lord Byron. Lord Byron's magnum opus, Don Juan, is a poem concerning the contemporary world, including social, political, literary, and ideological beliefs. The poem has very biting satire as well as just being humorous. Don Juan was a very long poem, spanning 17 cantos, and is regarded as one of the most important long poems of his age, and is also called the epic of its time. Samuel Johnson was a writer during this time, and he helped give rise to both journalism as well as novels. Johnson was a writer who released many essays and stories, which he gathered later into novels. Johnson also worked under a magazine where he made political imitation speeches. He also assisted in writing uh, Gulliver's Travels. After the desire for knowledge during the Rational Era, the Romantic Era began to shift people's interactions with each other's each other to be more democratic since people were more in tune with feelings rather, th rather than rational control. Because of this, people began to think more of individual, individual liberty and people began idealizing treating women as equals, which didn't happen immediately, so advocates had to start speaking out for equality among genders, suggesting that it goes hand in hand with individual liberty, as individual liberty should apply to everyone not just men. Mary Wall Wallstonecraft was a female writer, philosopher, and an advocate for women's rights. She is the woman uh, in this picture. She wrote the book A Vindication of the Rights of Women, where she argues that women are not born inferior to men, they are forced to be due to lack of education and being forced into that place just because of their rank in society. She advocated for a world where men and women bo were both treated as, a, as rational beings and imagined a social order founded on reason. Mary Wollstonecraft's early works were mainly geared toward education, specifically of women. Both of, Wollstone, both of Wollstonecraft's major works criticized the overhanging patriarchal institutions of the world that she believed was affecting all of women in society. Both books also discouraged sympathy and sensibility, as she believed it made women rely too much on their emotion rather than their brains. Wollstonecrafts were very antithetic to the current belief of emotional freedom in the world after people left rationalism and embraced romanticism, which led to her work being mostly discredited until, I think, the 20th, 20th century.